What up? It's day nine of the lockdown quarantine. Now you can see my food man, Chu, which somebody on social media, one person sent me a message. I should call it the flu man, Chu. So that's what I'm going to call it. It's my flu man, Chu. Look at it. Look how when I smile, it goes up. Hmm. So, here's what I want to talk about today. I don't think this pandemic shutdown could happen at a better time in my life. Meaning, uh, every, well, one, everybody's healthy. But two, my, uh, my family, all my kids, um, my kids are teenagers. One's already out of the house. He's fine. Live with his girlfriend. They live on a farm somewhere just with a bunch of animals. So they're straight. And then my other two are teenagers. So they don't come out the room. Because let me tell you this. I saw a video yesterday or today. And it was some kid in a diaper. Wilding. Just jumping up and down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, damn, that's got to suck. And then another kid came jumping on the bed in another diaper. I go, oh, shit. That mom has two boys in diapers. And they weren't like, if, if newborn's fine, they just, they just chilling. Newborn will probably make this quarantine lockdown go faster. Because everything's quiet anyways and you're, you're all about feeding and making sure the baby. But in diapers two and three, oh snap. I am so happy and thankful my kids are teenagers. Because I was thinking, man... I don't know if me and my wife could have did it. We could have been locked down. with and Our kids are 18 months apart. So they were in diapers at the same time. Uh, I remember that movie Antoine Fisher came out. And my wife never wanted us to have a nanny or any help. She goes, if my kids are crazy, it's my fault. And so I went and saw the movie Antoine Fisher. Came back, said, yo, I just saw a dope movie. My wife went and saw it. Then she came back. And then we talked about it. We both had to see it separate because we had two kids in diapers. Couldn't go see the movie together. So when I saw that video of them two boys wilding, I was like, oh, and then in the background, it was a bunch of clothes and toys and chaos. And I was like, oh, snap. I'm so glad my kids are teenagers during this shutdown lockdown because I, I don't know if we would have made it there and ever. So I, I see all these videos and memes. Yes, I'm doing this from my bathtub. Because why not? Every day is going to be a different part of the house. Uh, I saw people there saying, we got to thank our first responders and our nurses and our doctors and those people like that. Let's thank the parents that have kids in diapers, two and three year olds at the house. I want to thank you because you're a real hero too in all this. Because I, I don't envy you at all. And I don't know what you're going through. I know what you're going through, but not like this. So just... You know, just this is what I say. In times of crisis, just say you're going to be laughing about it next year at this time. That's what I always say. Next year this time, I'm going to be laughing about it. So whenever my kids get on my nerves and I'm yelling and they're going crazy, I'm like, we're going to be laughing about this. I, well, I say to myself, I'm going to be laughing about this next year at this time. And I see the, the cases keep going up and up and up of people getting this coronavirus. And... uh I think it's going to peak at some point, I think this week or next week, and then hopefully we'll see a decline. But the one person that I haven't heard got it is my stepdad. And he could be one of the biggest assholes on the planet. And he's in, he just hasn't got it. So I keep trying to put feelers out in the family, but he's never had a job in 40 years and he just stayed at the house anyways. So... He probably won't. It's probably nothing to him. He's probably used to that. My stepdad. So that sucks that he hadn't gotten the corona yet. I don't want him to die from it. Just a little, just a little cough and a little pain would be great. All right. Uh, that's all I got for today. This is day nine from the bathtub. Because people are like, we want to see some of your house. Well, look. There's the showers. You got to see this. That's where I wash my ass. Right there, I wash my ass. Look, his and hers. Boom, boom. 
And now I'm in the bathtub. There's the bathtub right there. See, there's sinks and shit. So, you got to see my, some of my house today. You get to see where Gary on washes his ass. Look at that flu man shoe coming in. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Day 10 coming soon.